but when he, you know, Bruce Wayne goes, then it's, <laughs> yeah. it's all going to collapse. Yeah. Hey folks, how's it going? We are checking out more Brass Eye. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Now, so far this show has been getting crazier and crazier and I've loved every episode. Um, every episode has something I like the most. I don't know, man. Really curious to see why the show is canceled. And you guys said that it happened in the last episode. So yeah, look forward to this one. Look forward to the last episode a whole lot. So let's just go ahead and jump into it and we'll talk about more in the end. UK used to mean United Kingdom, but ask anyone today and they'll tell you it stands for Unbelievable Crime Wave. <laughs> no one is safe. By the end of tomorrow, one or all of these people may have been set on fire, bum raped, or burgled <laughs> senseless by Britain's marauding criminals. <laughs> this month, police pictures showed another estate in Manchester turning itself into a gun. Just two days ago, it was revealed that convicts in Dartmoor Prison had been running an international airport for over 14 years. Oh my God. I am not an expert on air traffic control. I thought they were landing nearby, uh, but not in my prison. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Not many cars to Nick here, so instead they hijack pedestrians and run them around at terrifying leg speeds. It's called git surfing. <laughs> All too often, the git is one of their own mothers. Oh, so the latest trick, catapult them into a shop <laughs> and force them to steal booze, fags, and mags. Oh my god. Back, Charlie, go back five. Oh, For the no. cops, it's a jungle. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can understand kids like Kerry by looking at his family. Dad unemployed, mum depressed beyond tablets. You want to help these people, but the truth is, they've got to help themselves. Do you agree with this question? If you don't get a job, he gets stuffed. I'm but the point is, I'm trying to get a job. It's not as though I'm not trying to get a job. I'm, you I'm must doing... try harder. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm doing the... Yeah, but really hard. I am trying very yeah. hard. Though. Well, can you just go around somebody's house and clean up? Clean up? Clean up somebody's house? Yeah, and then ask for money for it. Yeah, I could do that. Why not do that tomorrow? All right, I mean, it's a bit to Good. me. Good. Thanks for talking to us. <laughs> Kozik's people are the smashed toes of a lame duck society. A lame duck that's attacking its own feet with a sledgehammer. Will the nightmare ever end for Kozik? Perhaps with some help from outside? Oh, yeah. In 1993, the council gave them a football. Good, but not enough. In 95, Paul McCartney donated a hundred top hats. Fat use. Vigilantism is actually going to help in the long run? I think it will arise in an area where something has gone wrong. I mean, in Gotham City in the United States, they call up a specialist <laughs> vigilante agent when they're in times of real oh, trouble by projecting up. a huge luminous emergency bat sign into the sky. And he comes rushing in, and so far that has worked. Is that something that should be encouraged? Do has I'd have to see it. it is. I, I, well, it, it looks good. It would have to be a very... Uh, individual with with great magnetism but when he you know bruce wayne goes then it's, <laughs> it's yeah. all going to collapse yeah. well it is it, it's done oh, it's happened throughout history <laughs> is crime going to get any worse yes it is just look at america alabaster codify reports on their latest mess at this wedding, where Minister Pat Rizzo shot a guest in the leg. The issue peaked on TV yesterday on a rat -a -tat, tat show showdown featuring Kupek and the two protagonists. You were shot by a minister with a gun. That's right. Okay, you were shot by this minister with a gun. Oh. This is Pat Rizzo, the man who shot at the wedding. What the hell were you doing? Look, you moved funny, I had to shoot. <laughs> what do you mean I moved funny? I was standing in a church you and like a criminal. What do you mean look I look like a criminal? Look at those hairy arms, you could be a man in a dress. <laughs> Two priests left the show in a tank, shooting as they went. So, as the ammunitionaries oh get trigger holy, Sunday turns to gun day, and America awaits the blast judgment. This is Alabaster Codify for Tenenan and Brass Eye. And sadly, crime experts predict that one day, <laughs> even friendly conversation between mother and daughter will be conducted at gunpoint. Now chafing the transmission heads, what is the relationship between crime and race? Using makeup sticks, we transformed our white reporter, Trust Dupre, oh into a black God. man <laughs> to see if the law would treat him any differently. 
Within five minutes, oh, he committed shit. a pocket theft, and by mid-afternoon, he was attacking passers-by with violent muggings <laughs> and fleecing them viciously on the cobbles. Oh, God bless him. <laughs> well, there's the evidence. Mr. Coker, what do you make of that? Now that I've seen the proof, I apologize to my fellow blacks. I'm sorry. Mr. Coker, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> so what's the solution to rising crime, particularly younger and younger? New inmates are welcomed on arrival. Oh, you shakes up that hell. And are sent straight to the shaving room. Here, their eyebrows are shaved off, which undermines their self-respect rather well. If you think of a fly and you pull its wings off, it'll crawl. But if you push the back half of its body onto the surface it's squiggling on, then you've got its total undivided attention. In the Gulf War, Jackson was yeah, allied advisor on Psycho Battery. Meanwhile, the troublemaker Terrible, yeah. is made to sprint blindfold to Jackson's office, where he receives a speaking down. That is my big shiny shoe, and you are the biggest piece of shit on it. So. Lick yourself off my shoe. Where's your other shoe? Don't actually do it! Where's your self recocking oh spec? <laughs> Now, look at me. Get out. If you take a seal and hit it very hard in the face every day for six weeks, you may turn it into a rather fetching hat. There are no simple answers to the problem of punishment, but there is a simple question. Would it really matter if one of these men died? <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I didn't get runs by slacking. I worked hard, I grafted, I practiced, I did it as well as I could, properly. So when you get up in the morning, what do you do? You get out of bed properly, and that means all the way out of it. Get right out of the bed. Do you seriously think the people here wouldn't notice if you were only half out of the bed? Oh my God. Come on, <laughs> wise up. Did I walk out to bat when I was half asleep or half out of bed? Of course not. I bloody well didn't. Hello. You think you don't know me, don't you? Yes, but you do, because I'm the shopkeeper you shot in a mindless hold-up. I'm the little boy whose face you stabbed off in panic when I found you <laughs> robbing my house. Remember? I'm Marvin Gaye, shot by my own father. Oh, yes. You know me all right. You killed me. What the hell did you do that for? <laughs> Look at me. Feel proud, do you? Do you even it's know what a shit. feeling is? I do, but I can't have any more now because of you. You. You get out after 25 years. But me, I'm here forever. I hate you. This French system of victim support comes to Britain next year. Last month, that woman woke up to find a young offender defecating on her floor. Ooh. Under police supervision, she now meets the offender at his house and is given an hour to formalize a similar return on his floor. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Good night. Uh. <laughs> oh, she stares at him. Um. All right, man, so this was decent. I would say the last five to eight minutes wasn't so good, though. I didn't really enjoy that last five to eight minutes with, like, the actors, like, talking and stuff. But the last interview he had, oh, boy, by the death, death penalty, that was funny. I would say animals in this one are, like, right next to each other, like, neck and neck when it comes to, like, how much I liked them. But I would still put drugs and sex above this one for me. Even though I, and I received messages and a lot of people said this is a lot of people's favorite episode, I enjoyed it, but not more than those other two. A big part of it is probably because those last five to eight minutes. I just didn't really enjoy it that much. Maybe people found it really, really funny because you guys know a lot more about those celebrities and it was weird that they're saying the stuff they're saying for example old boy who was talking about getting out of bed it felt like he was reading like an entire page worth of information that you can like you know get across with one sentence so i, I get that was the joke in it that he was just essentially stretching something out really really long it just wasn't that funny to me i like the lady because it was just extreme she was acting a fool all the stuff she was saying was just crazy so she was funny and then when it kept flashing back um to old boy it looks like he worked for vh1 i saw a shirt and stuff like that He's just reading, like, prison rules and things like that and making up words. I, I don't know. I just didn't enjoy it that much. I'm not going to lie. But the rest of the episode was good. I was still, like like I said, I would still say I enjoy sex and drugs more than this one. I like the blackface thing because that dude didn't look black at all. He's just, like, a really tan, tan white guy with a wig. 
<laughs> he had blue eyes and everything. And being a blackface just made him more aggressive and had him commit crimes like that, which is goofy as shit. And I love how you had old boy on there apologize for the entire black community. The whole thing about preachers with guns was goofy, but funny. Usually an old boy explaining why he shot her because she was like moving. A lot of times this is why somebody gets shot just over something really stupid. But overall, this is a decent episode. I don't have a whole lot to say. I'll definitely leave a review below if I can think of anything else. Yeah, man, that was all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.